Well, we're here in Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, Cash and Shelly are gone in. Um, they're not sure if they're going to be able to do the operation today. Um, it all depends on the emergency hospital place. If they don't get an emergency, then Cash is in. If not, well, we'll have to make an appointment and come back. It's an hour and a half from uh, my place. So we were only allowed one person in at a time. Shelly had a mask and that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping uh, he doesn't get it done today. Like, But I know he needs to get it done. Like, sooner the better. Just, I don't know, anxiety. I'm so freaked out. Didn't sleep a wink last night. Worried about my buddy. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So we got... So we have lots of time to waste. Uh, we found this river. It might be Red Deer River, maybe. Not sure. Look at that. You don't want to go too close to that, do you? <laughs> Is it solid? Check these out. Cool. I bet you she's doing stairs. I bet you she is. So are we right now? Yeah, we're <laughs> Should have brought a tent. Could have just camped out here. Yeah, camped out right there. <laughs> yeah. Swamp. Yeah, I wonder if they see moose here. Although the highway, near the highway. Yeah. Uh, man, that's a big deck they built anyway. It goes on forever. Yeah. Lots of trails here. Different kind of uh, trees. Oh, beavers. Moose. Yeah, see, I told you moose. Mm -hmm. trail for sure. Okay, well. Yeah, there's no way to get around. There was what, another 1.25 kilometers left. Well, we can go around the other way and then come uh, back just to check it out. Just take our shoes off. No, look at there's a spider on top of there. <laughs> or a water beetle or something. Was that where we were before up there? Yeah. So we made it down by the river. <laughs> it's not as high. That's high over there. Crazy. That is high. My, my vertigo was kicking in. Like I had my rod by the door with my tackle and ready to go, but I said, ah, I won't need that. Yeah, yeah now we got a whole day to waste. We pick up cash tomorrow morning at uh, like 10. We're still at what time is it now? It's before noon? So walking down was no problem. Now we're going back up. I had to take a break. My lungs. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I missed a sign, but we're at a new park. What park is this, Shelly? Do you know? Uh, Coronation, Coronation Street. Coronation Street. It's not the river anymore, it's some little creek. The beaver. Huh. Creepy. Long circle. 
<laughs> they're proud of their rocks. They probably come from Ontario or something. Don't see too many rocks out here. We have Weed Creek in our neighborhood. I think this is Crack Creek. <laughs> hey? There's a crack pipe right here. Yeah, look at it. What is it? So we're at another park, just across the street from the other park. <laughs> <laughs> it's Park City here in Red Deer. Look, it says Trans Canada Trail there. Yeah. Uh, more rocks, eh? Look at it, they got outdoor gyms here. The only problem is we've seen people use this equipment and they haven't wiped it down before or after they've been using it, so it's kind of gross, if you ask me. Other people sweat all over the place. Anyway, definitely we take some Lysol wipes to this before I'd use it. Right on. <laughs> and it's all good. Check that tree out. It's like when you grow marijuana and you put it on the side, it's called, uh, what's that called? What is it called? I don't know. Splitting? <laughs> no. Uh. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Just eating some leaves, eh? He's used to people, that guy, for sure, eh? Oh, totally. Huh. He's not even worried. So we just got a call from the uh, vet. Uh, Cash has done his operation. Everything went well. He's just coming out of anesthesia right now, so they're gonna keep him overnight to make sure he's all right and that. And uh, we'll be picking him up at 10 in the morning, tomorrow morning. So we just gotta find a spot to crash. Kind of sucks. It's raining out. Like that's why we left the park. We were gonna spend a couple hours there, or more than we did. But so it looks like we're hobos and red deer. Well, we could have planned this trip a little better. Uh, we've been on the phone trying to get a uh, campground like 20 bucks a night would have been nice, but they're all full uh, Then we called all the hotel rooms or the hotels. They want $350 deposit and We just don't have $350 deposit So I guess we're just gonna go to either Canadian Tire or Walmart and we'll do some some stealth camping Well, they allow you to camp at both places Yeah <laughs> Red deer. Look who's home. Ouch. Yeah, I made him a, a pair of pants so he doesn't lick at that. And he's got to stay in there for, for two weeks straight. Jail time. He's a little buzzed right now. Poor guy. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. I know. You're growing. You already got that eat right now. I'm going to put that crack all around the cellar. The girl boss is soothing for cash. Can we get this video out to you? I might have missed it. Uh oh. Oh, poor thing. I know, they gotta go. I just can't watch or kill them or whatever, right? Eh? They always hide by my feet. Where'd he go? I'll save you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Where'd he go, Scrappy? You guys are crazy. There's so many of them. So many of you guys. I hate to see you get killed, though. 
I see at least two of you dead a day. I'll toss them over the fence and try again. Right? They're probably not the smartest. Every time they get attacked, they run to my feet. I don't know why. Maybe because they know I'm going to do this. It's probably the same dude that I save. Okay, go by. <laughs> Does she have another one? I gotta get rid of this coach. They're probably all hanging out under there. Let's uh, we'll flip the coach over. Scrabby, you ready? Scrabby, I'm flipping the coach. Anything? Just grass killer. That's why I installed a wheel so I can move it, but the wheels have seized up because the wood's given out. So I quit that project, the dogs are pissed on it, so to the dump. It goes. I should set up my GoPro on her. Yeah, right. She wouldn't move an inch. Our strawberry field. Let's get in there. Shelly picked one the other day, it was huge, it was nice. She shared it with me, half and a half. She planted that last year. Same with that. Well, it's day two. Yeah, I slept beside his cage last night. Um, a little swelling. Yeah, he's been spending all his time in his cage. He's gotta stay in there all the time. Anyway, I set up a little bed beside his cage to keep an eye on him. Yeah, it's swollen quite a little bit. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a poor boy. Okay, it's time to go pee. You ready? He took his oxy this morning at 8. We're at 11 o'clock right now, so it should have kicked in. Okay, let's go outside, Cash. I'm just watching some Tom Green live here. He's making some pizza. And Cash was whining and whining and whining. Uh, he doesn't have to go outside. I open his little gate and he stopped whining. He just wanted more room. He wanted to feel more free. But I have my eye on you. No licking. No licking. And no escaping. I'm not far. <laughs> Poor guy. His knee's pretty. His leg, look at it. Swollen. But that's normal. Should go down in a couple days. We just went out for a poop and a pee. I was afraid there he couldn't poop. He let one go. Those oxys will make you constipated. Eh? So I'll let him out of his cage to clean himself for a bit. And I'll put his pants back on and it's bedtime for both of us. I'll set up my bed there. Zeus is wondering what's going on, eh? What happened to your cash? Anybody? Everybody, even the kitties are freaking out. JJ, are you taking care of cash, buddy? It's a good brother. So to help pay for Cash's uh, surgery, um, I'm going to be putting these up on uh, eBay for sale. i got a few bucks worth, so Let's see if I can get rid of these. Well, it's been a few really rough days. Uh, lack of sleep on everybody's part. Poor dog. Anyway, it's, it's just going to get better and better. Uh, like Cash has got to spend all his time in that cage. Uh, He's allowed out three times a day for five minutes max um, on a tight leash. Like, it, it's not fun, man. He, he wants to run. He just wants to go. Like, he doesn't know. Like, he still thinks he's normal. 
anyway, um, yeah, he's on some heavy drugs, oxys, and yeah, the vets got him on some pretty uh, heavy stuff, like he's on oxys, I think they're 10 milligrams each, then he's on gabapentin, and two other drugs, like, uh, they pretty much knock him out as soon as he takes them, but um, we invested, These really work. They'll come in handy in the future, like I'm not gonna give them to him right now. But after, uh, he's got four oxys left. Uh, so five days of oxys and Gabby Penton's almost done. He's got a week of those. So he's gonna need more. I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who helped out cash uh, with the GoFundMe and the uh, private donations. We really do appreciate it. You guys don't even know, man. Anyway, um, we still have a little bit to pay on it. We made arrangements with the vet and uh, we have till the end of August to pay, so we'll be okay. Again, like, thanks guys. Like, really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's gonna be a long road, but we're gonna get her done. Anyway, people, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, really do appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys later.